tell you what, man, y'all lucky I'm here to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I was, because <laughs> I was thinking, like, I kind of wanted to chill with my girl. Because you know we're in that um, we're in that phase, you know, where things are sweet. Yep. You just want to hang out. You know, Y'all don't see, see each, each other, each other very all the often. time. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Part of me want to be like, I, just, I really <clears> just want to go to dinner with her. Like, I'm like canceling these niggas with it. But then, like, I Trey, mean, you could have Trey kind of gave me the the, the Trey the gave you the out. Yeah, I he, was like, I it yeah. is up to Crest. Yeah, he kind of <laughs> gave me the alley, but I'm like, ah, Cause, nah, because if I, I don't want to like, I don't care either way. Yeah, because I always set my Wednesdays aside. Right, right. I didn't want to spoil. I, I, you know, can't can't give him too much too fast. I was gonna me. mention though, if that you, is true. If you yeah. did decide to call it off, yeah. I was gonna mention last episode in the. In the outro, we were like, "All right, we'll see you next week. Hopefully, hopefully. we will be yeah. here." <laughs> that hopefully, was, I thought about that too. Hopefully, we don't disappear. <laughs> yeah, I thought about that too. I'm like, "Ah, we had just gone a week, and we came back. Like, ah, I don't want to do another week. You know what I'm saying? Spring I don't want to do it again. Yeah, spring break. <laughs> we're on, we're on spring break. Yeah, I didn't want to do it again. So I'm like, "All right, I take, I take that. I take just that. go to dinner after. No, nah, it's gonna be too late. It's the great. I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna see this weekend. I'm gonna see this weekend. Well, you you don't like a late dinner? Why not? No, I do like a late dinner, but you know, it'd it be sometimes it gets it sucks my stomach too much. It's a, that's true. Yeah, can't we do it all the time? Even though yeah. I'm still gonna have a late dinner after we leave here. Yeah, you should. Yeah. You should just go hungry. Yeah, just go to sleep hungry. Just go to sleep hungry. Cause I've done that before. Yeah, because if you eat before you uh, go meet, like right after you sleep, you're gonna wake up. Your blood sugar is gonna be like. Pfft. Oh really? And then you're gonna wake up lethargic. Mm-hmm. AKA the best kind of waking up. Yeah. <laughs> but if you if you like. Go hungry. Yeah. Not, not go hungry, but just I know what you mean. Go to sleep. You'll actually wake up like attentive. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. I do because I eat late all the time. And yeah. I, I mean, I shouldn't. Obviously. You shouldn't. Yeah. But I do. I, because I made the, I made I'm that working. mistake last night where I should have eaten. Yeah. So I could just stay asleep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I was hungry when I was getting home at 3 30 in the morning. Yeah. But I'm like, Ah, it's way too late to eat. Let me just go to sleep. Right, 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 right. Unless you're eating right. breakfast. That's true. Yeah. It's way too early for breakfast, way too late for anything else. Mm. <clears throat> so I woke up very attentive at yeah. like seven. I'm seven, like, yeah. All right. This sucks. Yeah. I don't want to go to work tomorrow, bro. <sighs> Not that I hate work. I just gonna, don't want to go. Gonna, you going to call off? No. no. You can admit it. You hate work. No, I know I don't hate my job. I do. I hate working. <laughs> I hate working. I don't hate my job. I hate working yeah. in general. I hate fair. the process yeah. of working. Yeah, the process yeah. of working, but That's I don't fair. hate my job. Well, it's important to like what you do. Yeah. I, I, I never have. Ah, I see. <laughs> I see. I've been a tax accountant for years. Yeah. Yeah. A job that the government should and could be doing for free. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, we can talk about that, actually, because I had a thought about that. I could talk all day about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I could also <laughs> talk all day about a lot about nothing. Cheers! Yeah. yeah. Welcome back to A Lot About Nothing, where we talk about expensive social topics, and in the end, we try to figure out why the economy is sinking. Is it sinking? I don't know. We're going to ask. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. The answer could be yes. And it could be no. The seventh item will shock you. <laughs> Click here to find out. <laughs> Economists hate him. <laughs> Seven funny. tips. Ian doesn't want you to know. No, right. <laughs> right. Exactly. As you can see, uh, there's no trade today. Fucking finally kicked him out. <laughs> Jeez. We've been trying to get him out. Oh, Gone. Yeah, finally. Done. Yeah, finally, finally, finally. You get yeah. him out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trey's off trying to be the mayor, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, saving school buses full of children. Right. And we commandeered this house. So that's true. So there's nothing you could do about it. Great location. Great, right? It's nice. Nice and cozy. Yeah, mm-hmm. really nice. Mm-hmm. I've been here a while. Yeah. Just, you know, this, is not the, this is not the spot, by the way, Ian. If you're thinking of anything nefarious, this is the wrong house. Okay. You won't you won't leave here in, in peace. I'll uh, put my nefarious. If you look around, just, just look around and see what's on the walls. You know what I'm saying? What's on the, the cabinets. Oh, yeah. You don't want to know what's in the drawers. <laughs> yeah. Or we're a bunch of snitches in here. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I always tell people, this is not the house. <laughs> it's definitely not the it's house. It's not the one. Because, <laughs> But, you know, th- thanks to Trey. He might be back next week. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how we fare without him. And then if it's good, we'll just probably just keep doing it with, <laughs> with <laughs> that. <laughs> JK, we love Trey. He'll be back next week. He's just out being the mayor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
But we do have Ian Economist. Ian Economist, welcome. Hey, hey, how's it going? You know, it's going. Trying to stay cheery, you know. Yeah. Interesting times we live in. Tell me about it, yeah. Uh, well, it, well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> First, Ian, we we try to say how we're doing, and sincerely, guess I'm gonna ask you how are you. Oh, well, you want the short answer or the long answer? Whichever answer you feel comfortable giving. All right. In the mic. Um, well, I'm doing pretty okay. Okay. You know, uh, work is work, mm. and work sucks. You know. Yeah. Work sucks. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> But you know the the uh, missus left me roses by the stairs. Right, right. Surprises lets you know she cares. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, things are good. No. Uh, finally, some time to kick back. You know, it's almost summer. Tax season's over. Yeah. I'm a tax accountant by trade. Yeah. So hate my life between the months of February <laughs> through April. <laughs> and right about now, we're sitting pretty. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. only imagine. Yeah. yeah. Ian's <laughs> been on the show before, just in like only a voice capacity because he was uh, through Zoom. Zoom. Correct. Yeah. But now, live in effect. Let's go. Victor, Yo, in the doing? flesh. How you doing, Victor? Uh, okay, here we go. All right, listen. I mean, you know how I, I usually say I'm tired. Right. But today I'm actually like legitimately tired. 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 Yeah, because, yeah. Uh, I was telling the boys earlier about my debaucherizing last night. Right, right, right. That's a word. Um, it is yes. now. It's a <laughs> term I've coined yeah. to describe these type of activities. And uh, I didn't really get home till like 3.30. Then, um, unfortunately, my body naturally wakes me up. Mm, mm. Uh, I can't really sleep past 8 o'clock. A.M. Mm. or P.M.? A.M. A.M. That ever. sucks. Ever. You know ever, what? Ever. You're kind of right. <clears throat> I will wake up around <clears throat> 7 or 8 and mm-hmm. then go back to sleep, even on the weekends. I have this neat yeah. trick. I don't. It's not a neat trick. It's very weird. But uh, if I go, the, like I'm laying in bed and the... I go to set an alarm. Mm -hmm. If I think about that alarm in my head. It goes off. Before I uh, set it. You'll wake up just before the alarm. Exactly. Yep. Really? I I wake up always like five minutes before the alarm goes off. I always wake up about three to five minutes before my alarm goes off too. Yeah. It's almost like the fact that you're, you're setting it just tells your brain. Okay. Uh, This is the time to wake up. Just do it. Yeah. To be fair, I have two alarms. I have one on my phone and then one alarm clock. I have like 17. Yeah, no. I don't need to. Like like one at 5.30, one at 5.35, one at 5.37, one at 540, one. (laughs) Two minute increments is too short. You have to have it like nine minute increments. No, I need it to annoy the shit out of me. That's how I get out. I see. I see. That's fair. But um, yeah, no, other than that, got home, uh, woke up early, little, very tired. But uh, I decided to take the day off <clears throat> and then just spent the day just, I don't know, acting like a retiree. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Going to brunch. Yeah. Fucking killing it, dude. Doing some day drinking. Yeah. <laughs> but and and uh, here we are. Eight we hours are. of video games. We, we made it. Yeah. It was a it, fucking it, 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 hot one today. Oh, where? Oh, my day. How's it outside like that? A sure sign of suburban living. Mm. Hot one today. I was trying. <laughs> <clears throat> I was trying to drive around with my top down. I was like, nope, this ain't yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just saying it. Yeah, I mean, you did pull up with your top down. Oh, yeah, well, it's nice for Looking now. Looking like a retiree. That's right. Yeah, it's nice for now. The sun's gone, but isn't that the goal? Exactly. Tell me about it. I'm trying to retire. Are you like 35. I'm good, man. Thirty-five. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, as I told you earlier, <clears throat> I was really wasn't really on this tip today. I really yeah, just wanted. To I can tell. Yeah. Can I tell you guys a secret? Hit me. As soon as I started work, yeah, I said in ten years I'll be retired. Interesting. And then every year that I don't think it'll be ten years, it'll be ten years from there. <laughs> ah. And at some point, the clock's gonna start ticking down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. And then yeah, we'll be yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it'll be. Then you would have predicted correctly. Ten mm. years. Man. Yeah. Even though you've been right in fifty years from now. Ten years. My 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 clock shorter. I I always give myself two years. Interesting. <laughs> I saw that's how long I give myself in jobs. I give myself two years in jobs, and then I see what the temperature is like at the job. I'm like, is this really working now? Is this not? Am I getting paid? Is there like a ceiling? Is there like a, a is there a way for me to kind of climb up? Right. Is this the highest yeah. I'll ever be? Yeah. If this if it doesn't look like there's any forward progress, <clears throat> I'm looking for something else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Within two years. But so um, we'll see. Yeah. But I fall into the purpose. I'm doing okay. Um, uh, a little messed up in the head because I mean I forgot everything, <laughs> dog. 
If you're wondering why I have this old ass Dell laptop, because I forgot my laptop. And if you're Again. wondering why there's only one shot today and we're, we're shooting with the old camera, because I forgot my SSD for the cinema camera. Hey, man. <sighs> Dell, Dell makes a good product. <clears throat> no, I, I like Dell. 2009. <laughs> <laughs> they make good products still. They do. It's, it's still business, business computers. But besides that, I'm doing good. Um, very happy. Uh, I'm very happy. Yeah. Thing about <laughs> I can't show it too much. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're I can't right. show it too much. Remember what Ed was saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the good boyfriend. I'm yeah, happy. Yeah. Yeah. You're happy. I'm happy, babe. <laughs> no, I'm genuinely happy. It's good. I just, yeah, I just can't show it too much. That's good. Yeah, I'm chilling. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but for all intents and purposes, things are good. I have no complaints. Uh, yeah, none. No, no, no complaints. Okay. There, man. Um, awesome. Besides cost of living, yeah, oh, gas yeah. prices, it, yeah. war, war, it, yeah, SCOTUS. It, it, yeah, <laughs> and also that horrendous, horrendous shooting at the oh my god, the Texas school. Mm. So, yeah. <clears throat> son, what ten days after Buffalo? Yeah, is what they said. <clears throat> Dog. What? Listen, when I saw those headlines, I thought it was like, oh, they're still reporting about Buffalo, right? And then I was like, and then I read yeah. it, I'm like. No, yeah, it's a, it's a completely other, yeah, mass shooting, yeah. But this time, at a f- fucking elementary school, right? Mm-hmm. I heard the story was that, um, and please don't cite us as a source. We are not a source. Please, God, we are not a source. I don't even. I'm not even going to tell you all the whole story because it's everywhere. You can't miss it. It's everywhere right now because the 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 whole thing is like gun reform now. How are we still doing this? How are the only country this happens to? Because I think the um, the numbers were like 14 children killed and then two adults. And then it went up to like 18 and 19. Yeah. But that's just like news sources trying to be first. No one's trying to be right. So right. You have to you have to wait right. a while always for the story to develop. Mm-hmm. But either way, the numbers are too big, even if it was one. Right. You know, it's still one is still too many. So super sad, man. I don't know what I'm more upset about to be Into honest. The mic. I don't know what I'm more upset about to be honest. Mm. The uh, fact that I'm not that upset because mm. there's been so many of right. these shootings, right? Or the fact that there's been a shooting, <clears throat> right? Right. The thing is, we're we're kind of, it's almost like we're getting I'm desensitized. Uh, not even desensitized. We're just accepting it as fact. Yeah. And that's not how it should be. No, absolutely at all. Not. It's, just, it's incredibly fucked up because then every other time we're just gonna be like condolences, 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 and then everyone's gonna oh it's just an isolated incident. There's been like 300,000 isolated incidents. Mm-hmm. There's been two in the span of 10 days. Come on, man. <laughs> At some point, we're just enabling them. I saw a meme that was, uh, you, you know, the uh, the rock in, in Escape from Witch Mountain, like looking back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where he's like saying, oh, come on. The uh, shooting just happened. It's, it's too early to politicize it. And then the woman in the back is like, well, Sandy Hook happened 10 years ago. Can we can we talk about that now? And he's yeah. like, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like it's been that long. It's been long. Yeah. And nothing. And nothing happened. Nothing. And the thing is, I mean, uh, you'll, you'll have someone like Ted Cruz be like, oh, they're, they're trying to politicize it to take away the rights from law abiding citizens. And I'm like, no one's trying to take away Second Amendment rights. We want gun reform. You don't have to repeal guns. That's never going to happen in America. But make it a little harder for an 18 year old to get two ARs. Mm-hmm. Just a little. Everybody's got a base. They just they just pander to their base. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's America. Yeah. I mean, I think the NRA released a statement, which I don't care to read. Because mm-hmm. I mean, they're not going to do anything. Because this happens every time. Condolences, statements, politicized. Maybe we go by and then it's gone. Yeah, we're yeah. Uh, already yeah. not talking about Buffalo. Right, gone already. Yeah, done. Mm-hmm. It's only been ten days. The only thing I saw that was kind of like the shining light was Beto O'Rourke, who was going. Uh, I think he was at the uh, press conference for or Governor uh, Abbott, Texas governor, who was uh, mm-hmm. giving a statement. Beto went in there and he said his piece. And then he went outside and he kind of gave a huge statement there, too. I mean, he looks like he's really ready to, like, fuck it up in the polls. This, like, I mean, this is this is Beto's issue. Yeah, he's 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 really the only nationwide Democratic candidate to, to come out and say, we want to take your guns. Right, right, right. Like right. nobody else really wants, well, to, wants that. to do that. Right. It's all sensationalized because they know exactly what's going to happen. A lot of pushback. Not going to get any support on it. But I'm all for gun uh, uh, gun laws being stricter. Like even me, I want to. If I want to purchase a gun, I'm cool. Let me get a background check. Let me get a two week wait 
You know, let me get a fingerprint. Let me get a criminal background. It doesn't matter. I'll do it all if I want to own the gun that can kill people. You know? Yeah. You know I'm saying so it's not a big deal. Make it harder for people to get these types of guns. I mean, an AR? Come mm. on, man. 18 year olds shouldn't just be able to buy that. <laughs> That's a killing machine. Who needs that many rounds? Even if you're going like people say, oh, uh, they use it for hunting. If you need an AR for hunting, you're not a good hunter. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm a I'm a short white guy. <laughs> Never hunted. Never hunted. Have no interest in hunting. I need yeah. it for hunting. Yeah. He's a born arrow. Be a Come man. On. No. <laughs> some Single, pe- some people on. are good shots. Single shot rifle. So, some people are good shots. Even a shotgun. Listen. Who needs an AR to go shoot? No, to accuracy go by volume. <laughs> all, right, I'm, all right. I shouldn't make these jokes. I'm sorry. Jesus I'm sorry. Christ. I'm sorry. It's funny. But correct. I mean, if we can't laugh the about fact, it, we can't listen, take it seriously. Like the fact the fact that ARs are tremendously cheaper than handguns. Ridiculously cheaper. Mm-hmm. Says yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Come on. I mean, Ed's 1911 <clears throat> probably cost like two grand. The yeah. AR is like 500. Yeah. Wow. It's that much? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Boy. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> this, yes. This is one segment of the economy I really don't pay attention to. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. Yes. On sales. It's, or, it's, I know that they increase under Democrats. That's about it. Yeah. I mean, the people in this house are gun enthusiasts, so I know a lot about guns. Mm-hmm. But they're responsible gun enthusiasts. Mm-hmm. They go to the range to shoot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I used to play airsoft in high school. That's close enough. Every Saturday. Yeah. At an MP5. Nice. It was like red and black painted. Uh, Love that thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was in the fraternity in college. Mm. The vice president was a uh, U.S. Army veteran. Right. Opened up my trunk, took out the MP5, split it in half over his knee, said, get a real gun. (laughs) Never got a real gun. That was it. I'm done. (laughs) (laughs) That's crazy. But for all intents and purposes, shake their gun laws, please. And then we can avoid children getting killed again. By the way, it's and not again. the first. It's not the first one. How many school and shootings again. have there been? I'm not even going to look at it. It's going to make me mad. So I don't and again and again. Yeah, and again and again. again. Ad nauseum. Yeah, I don't know how many how many times this has to happen. How many people need to die for you know politicians just to make it harder to get guns? But I hope I, it's already too many people. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, rest in peace to those children, man. It's crazy. Right before summer vacation too. It's nuts. Seriously, the, yeah. the day before the end of school. The day. If you're interested in, in, in the story, man, it's all over the place. You don't need us to tell you. You can look it up right now. Google it right now. It's probably the top 50,000 stories, 50,000 hits. It's about that story. So um, let's roll into our, our IQ. All right. So what this IQ, IQ stand for. stands for. Ian, you ever listen to the podcast? Uh, I was on the one time. Right, right, right. I think I listened to the episode before it to okay. study up. Okay. Things have changed a little bit, but not too much. Okay. Yeah. Well, IQ are still interesting questions. Yeah. Questions we don't know. Right. Especially now since we're drawing from a deck. Right. So okay. we have to answer off the top. Oh boy. We'll do two. Just in two. case. Okay. Hopefully Sorry. they're good. <laughs> oh god, it's not good. <laughs> What's the most imaginative insult you can come up with? Oh gosh. That's interesting. The most imaginative insult. I have a hurtful insult. <clears throat> yeah, the, like let's make this distinction. There is a very, very big difference between imaginative, yeah, and hurtful. Yeah, because mm-hmm. <clears throat> hurtful, you could use some what someone told you against them. Exactly, you could fuck the whole life up. Mm-hmm. But imaginative insult for this, you would have to like go into your like D and D bag <laughs> and like you know speak like a like a town crier or something. Right, call them wankers. Yeah, or like some. Some grizzled veteran at a tavern or something. <laughs> Lieutenant Surge. Something. Something. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of one, to be honest with you. <clears throat> yeah, I can only think about hurting people. <laughs> 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 I can't think of a clean insult. Yeah, my insult is me kicking you in the face. Yeah, yeah. Does like a your mom joke count? I mean, I mean sure. those were, those those were imaginative. In you know, it's bike, funny. I was day. talking to my boss, uh, what was it, yesterday? And I was telling about the show. Remember the show, uh, Yo Mama? Yo Mama, yeah. Yeah, I was telling about that show where and people dude, would roast every, each early other's moms. Early were real cringe. And somehow Wilmer Valderrama was the host, somehow. <laughs> and he, they were making jokes. I didn't even know what they won. I, I don't remember what the prize was if I you won. Know. Money? I don't remember, I don't remember. the show. Was you it, remember the show? Was you this like, like like Dane Cook's Torgasm kind of yeah, era? No. no. No, it was like MTV, no? MTV? Yeah, it was MTV. Okay. 
It it's was called like your mama. Circa ah, 2004? 2004 Five, through eight. Eight, something like that. Something okay. like that. I got we got the internet. <clears throat> you see? I'll when be honest, your mama. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm I'm so much of a geek that uh, Jersey Shore put me on the map of MTV. Get out of town. <laughs> I mean, I can leave if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this shit had three seasons. Apparently. 2006, yep. Yeah. 2006 to about 2008. Yo, oh, mama. What a time. Tell me about it. Yeah, the odd, th- the odd yeah. 2000s were uh, very... I miss the odds. Very interesting. Yeah. Very cringe time. <laughs> they had an episode where they brought people's real moms on. And they were <laughs> each other. <laughs> I remember the episode vividly. It's pretty funny. I would never. It's oh a pretty my funny god! Episode. I would never. My mom would fight people. Oh yeah! yeah, yeah. Oh my kidding me? days! This is a stupid show ever, but it was funny. She would swing on people. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Filipino fighter mom. Uh, yeah, I can't think of an insult. You have a yo mama joke? Yeah. Uh, yep. I, I'm having trouble thinking of one, but one that came to mind. You guys ever seen Monty Python and Holy Grail? Yeah. No. no. Your, mo- your mother was a hamster and your yeah, father, father smelt of elderberries. elderberries. Yes. Elderberries? Elderberries. If you don't know what elderberries are, that's going to be a hard joke to take. No one knows what no elderberries are. No one knows what the fuck they are. All right, but All right, we'll take we'll Do you know the terminal velocity of a swallow? <laughs> Unladen swallow? No. No, they're, no, they're, they're uh, berries that, are, that have aged a lot. Oh, okay. okay. You know, so a literal meaning... Yeah, elder berries. Elder berries. Maybe, I see. maybe they've got grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> Young berries. Hit me. How many times a day do you check your Facebook? Zero, my nigga. I don't. I don't check my face. I mean, if we're talking Messenger, sure, we'll count that. Yeah. Okay. Then, then like, I can count on my hands. I mean, how many times I check my Messenger a day? Good for you. Yeah, probably like seven. But th- no one's on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook that much. Okay. Only on Messenger because my homies use it to <clears throat> text each other. Okay. Yeah. That's true. But that's about it. See, I'm kind of the opposite. Really? My, my Twitter account is a troll account. Oh, really? Because Elon bought Twitter, so anything's possible now. Facts, 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 facts. And I'm active on Facebook, and I'm serious on Facebook. <laughs> Interesting. So, I am less active on Facebook than anything. I was here probably 20 minutes before the show started, yeah. and I think I checked my Facebook four times. <laughs> <laughs> that should tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> there you go. That's funny. No, I didn't check. No, I just checked my messenger sometimes. Even then, if y'all boys don't message me, I have, like, another group chat that I'm in, but they're all muted. Yep. So, I check them when I want. So, I'd say maybe, like, five times a day. Um, and that's a lot. Well, for me, I don't really check, like, Facebook Facebook proper. Right, right, right. But if we're putting in a stipulation of Messenger, I always have it open. Mm, like, I, I always, like, in a separate monitor, it's always Messenger. Messenger, yeah. On oh, yeah, phone, it's, on, it's on desktop now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. On my phone, Messenger. I, I always... Almost constantly have it open. Is it the same with Discord? It's same with Discord. Mm, 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 mm. I always the first two things I open when I turn on my computer is always Messenger and Discord. Mm. Okay. All right. Fair. Oh yeah. Right. I don't. I don't check Facebook that much. <clears throat> yeah, I turn on the computer, then I open Discord, then I open Chrome. Yeah. Just to have Discord on in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Get the messages. Right. Ian, Best. how much do you need to make? To oh. live well today. Mm. Define well. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you Define mean, well, okay. Comfortable? Comfortable, sure. With with a moderate amount of savings. Sure. Okay. How well, much do you think? By my estimation, right. pre-COVID, okay. the national median single person income right. was about $38,000. To live well. Median. Okay. And, and and family was probably fifty nine sixty one. Interesting. Since COVID, that dipped, and then that really took off. Mm. So probably now family is more like eighty. Okay. To live comfortably. Right, right, right. Which sounds like a lot. No, 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 mm. no, no, it's not. No, it doesn't sound like a lot. To not me at, at all. all. It sounds like a very small amount. That's like one For person. family. Yeah, that, that's that's one, like person, one person. Yeah. My academic is showing. <laughs> <laughs> that's why <right> here. <laughs> That's crazy, no. So what uh, about for an individual? It should be significantly lower, right? Like sixty. Uh, in individual, I I would say you could probably get by on fifty. Yeah. Uh, I'm not getting by. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting by around fifty. I mean, I'm at more than fifty. I'm not getting by. Technically, you are. Well, you yeah. 
you have things going on in your That's life true. that that require money. Yeah, yeah. I, on the other hand, let's say I'm single. Mm -hmm. I don't have kids. Right. I am able to cut out a lot of the unnecessary consumption. Yeah. So I could probably before COVID, I could probably make do on 30. Mm. Now it's probably more like 45. I see. But, I see. but if you want to do anything right. like with your life, other than just subsist, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's gotta be more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of being a worker drone. Right. Yeah. Good. Cause my thought, I would say about 105,000. So to live by comfortably yourself by myself with, with by myself. All right. Well, to I, live comfortably, have a moderate amount of savings, and still be able to do stuff without having to worry about bills. I'd say on a hundred thousand, you'd be very comfortable. Yeah. 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 At a hundred thousand, you'd be comfortable and traveling. Mm, I'm traveling anyway. Exactly. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But yeah. yeah. Way to be a millennial. You feel me? Hell yeah. Yeah. I'd say a hundred thousand <laughs> is probably good because my because before this, before COVID and everything, my number was eighty five thousand. No. Like I'm with you though. Yeah. I, the the number in my head has always been 100k. Yeah. At least to minimum, right? Not have to worry about making the next bill paid. Right, 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 right. Okay. Or waiting for checks, waiting yeah. to get paid. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with 100k you was the number in my head. Just as I I would consider myself comfortable as long as I don't ever have to worry about the next bill payment. Right. And that's or, comfortable that's to me. Fair. Yeah. Where I don't have to pay any mind to the auto pay set up. Like, yeah. oh my God, will I, <laughs> mm -hmm. will I have enough money in that account yeah, yeah. for it not to overdraft? Right. See, that's where we differ. I don't do auto pay on anything. Interesting. I would rather manually click the button every single month just to commit it to myself that I'm making this payment. Because and you're losing that money. Because A, it like I like see that I'm losing the money and mm -hmm. I hate myself over it. Mm -hmm. and, and B, that makes me want to work harder to make the money back. I See, I, I agree with that. I don't know if I'm with you there. Listen, I agree with that because every it doesn't matter whether I listen, there's times where I've been like, I got X, I got all this extra dough, mm -hmm. so like a lot of extra right now. Or there's times where I've like, I'm really broke. I need to stop spending. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much money I've had or have or, or don't. I always check my bank accounts mm -hmm. before I make any purchase. Really? Any purchase. It is a habit that it, I've started. It's smart. It's a habit I've picked up just because growing up, me and my mom were poor. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. poor, poor. Mm -hmm. Like six six people to a one bedroom apartment. Poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So after like when I started uh, go to school and then mm -hmm. when I started college where mm -hmm. I got like grant funding and stuff like that I always like all right like, I'm gonna buy this and I, I do math I'm like can I buy this will it affect anything yeah, <laughs> next yeah, yeah, week yeah, yeah 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 stuff like that yeah so when you say you like to press that button I am with it all the way because mm -hmm. when I see that because when I see that um, um amount go down yeah it gets in my head oh really it gets in my head. Oh, it doesn't get in my like, head that much. It does help a lot with, with, with budgeting and stuff, too. Yeah, it helps with I budgeting think. for me. Yeah, because yeah, I, I budget everything. Yep. But the pro the the thing is, the reason why I do it on auto pay, though, I sometimes forget to pay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So as much as I would yeah. love to just put that in my head to press the payment button, I uh, there's been uh, t one too many times where I forgot to pay it. So I'm like, all right, I need mm -hmm. to just yeah. put these most important things on yeah. autopay. Yeah, I'm with you there. So I don't, I don't forget. forget. I have one thing on autopay, and that's my phone bill. Because I know that's going to stay constant. Yeah. Right. So, my and sometimes I forget that I have to pay it, and I know it's, a, but T-Mobile says, yo, we took the money. I'm like, yeah, okay, good. I know you took the money. My account's, my account's lower, T-Mobile. You never forget. At least they let you <laughs> yeah. know. T-Mobile doesn't forget. I no. would forget. Yeah, those, so are, those are the two I put, It's the only thing I have, yeah. Two con uh, the constants I have uh, utilities, uh, the car notes, yeah, the f and phone and internet. Car note, I, car note. I pay. I pay. I have to press that button. The utilities are a bitch. Yeah, because I put money aside for that. They don't tell you no w w when you buy the house. Oh, yeah. you're gonna have to pay for utilities too. Yeah, yeah, and it's a lot. Yeah, it's a Dude, lot. Summer's coming up too. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm learning this, that. this electric bill. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, no. yeah. My uh, utility bills due tomorrow actually. Oh Jeez. no. I'm yeah, telling you, boy, so. when summer rolls around, boy, that yeah. electric bill Dude. leaves me breathless every time. Yeah. Let me tell you, when I started paying my own utility bill, like last year when I when I bought my house, mm -hmm. um, 
I started turning off all the lights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the uh, AC doesn't run. I open windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's different for sure. It's different. Yeah. It's different when you pay no bills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I live with my brother and I, I just I pay him rent. I just help him. With, um, I probably just go to the mortgage. Mm-hmm. Right, so, yeah. I just help him pay for stuff. And know? back then when your parents were like, yo, turn off that light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no. I don't yeah. want the AC's on like 80 when we had the house. Yep. Mm-hmm. Make sure everything turned off. Shit different when yeah, you start paying them bills. Yeah, and summer's I, around the corner. And you, so. you, dude, I fucked up. God, I'm so sad. AC, but actually, we got to clean it. I haven't cleaned it in a long time. I'm going to clean it I'm just in case. Because so it's going to be sad. one day in summer that shit stops working. Yep. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And I know it's going to be clogged. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker, I'm going to have to get the vacuum out. Got the vacuum out. Vacuum out all the tubes and then keep trying to turn it on. Yeah, I know what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I know what it is. Text myself right now to remind me. <laughs> <laughs> Every six months. Yeah. So 100K for me. No, I'm, 100K I'm with you. I'm with B-Money. you. money. That's still the number in my head right and now. I think 100K is a nice round number. 100K is a round number. That's still the number in my head right now. Would raising the minimum wage help with the economy right now? Um, I think that. I think you can talk to the mic. I think that on balance, the answer is yes. Okay. However. In, in recent months, public perception is is decidedly no. Why is that? Uh, because because of the inflation. Right. Okay. And because then you have to raise it even higher. A lot of people a, a lot of people believe that that the wage price spiral would would kind of spiral out of control. Right. right That's right. basically like there's there's two ways to raise inflation. You can either push it or pull it higher. Right. The uh, consumers will will pull it, pull it, and then the producers will push it because mm. the producers will raise the prices. But then the consumers will also, through their demand, create an environment such that prices can be raised. Right. So if if you have people like millions of people making a lot more money, all of a sudden, they're going to have a lot more money to spend, and they're probably going to spend it. Hmm. So so the businesses will, of course, seize on that opportunity mm-hmm. and and raise it probably more than it should be raised. Yeah. And then the market will start to adjust as what's happened in the last couple of months. Yeah, 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 yeah. Florida minimum wage is eleven dollars, by the way, which I didn't know. Yeah, it's gone up a lot. Yeah, it's high. There was a uh, amendment yeah. in like 2016. Right. That that set like it, it was like 840 or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then they said starting in like 2021, 2022 it's going to go to 10 mm-hmm. and then up up $1 until $1 a year until it hits 15. Mm-hmm. And then it'll be indexed to inflation okay. after that. Mm-hmm. So Interesting. so in like 2026, I think it'll be 15. <clears throat> it'll be 15. And it'll probably go up whatever percent inflation is. Right, right, right. Every year based on that, I hope. Yeah. It makes sense, right? Yeah. But um, it's funny because when I started working, that shit was like seven twenty-five. Seven twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I wasn't even getting paid minimum wage because when I started working, I was working at like Outback as a busser. We didn't get paid like three dollars an hour. No, the 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 service industry. Service industry is way far different. different. Yeah. Mm. Like I know, as serving bartending, yeah, that minimum wage doesn't doesn't apply to you. Would that even? Yeah. Dang, would working the service industry be? And this would be good right now? Like um, this time, this day and age? It depends. Probably depends on where you work, right? On where yeah. where you are. I, I would very cautiously say no. Mm. Yeah. Because it's, it's like real estate. It's location, location, location. Mm-hmm. But I uh, wrote a blog a couple of years ago about how terrible that- pay is in, in the service industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who like, are you telling? I am I am against <laughs> tipping fundamentally. Mm-hmm. I will I will still do it, of course, because right, right. because servers don't get paid. They don't get paid, right? But the fact that we have to do it, and and they can't they can't just lump it in with a food price. It's, yeah, it's like, yeah, come on. I think um actually I may be wrong, but I think in France tipping is looked down upon. Like, in in almost everywhere except America, tipping yeah. is looked down upon. Yeah, like I know in Japan, there's no tipping. <laughs> yeah, you can't tip. Yeah, there's no tipping in Japan. Nope. When I wrote the blog, uh. You, you guys probably haven't read it, and no. that's and that's okay. Uh, I I bet you didn't know that tipping is racist. What? Yeah, everything is fucking racist in this country. I bet you also didn't. Know I need the history behind that one, dog. I'll tell you. I I bet you also didn't know that tipping is an acronym. T I P to, to ensure promptitude. Prompt ser- service to, to ensure sh- promptitude. 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 Tip. Oh, I see. I knew tips. Right. In the olden days. So, like like pre Civil War, right? Oof. Uh, you would you would go to a restaurant and you would lay your tip on the table right when you sat down. Interesting. And and it would be a certain amount up, ah. up front, 
up to the person that okay. that is the customer. Right. And if the server was good enough, they would earn the tip. I see. So, so the tip is there for them to do a little bit it's of like a better use job. Five dollars, earn that five dollars. Yeah. Huh. Uh, and then Jim Crow comes around after the Civil War, right? And the uh, mostly white business owners for sure. see that they have a lot of people that want jobs. And they either don't have the jobs to give them or they just don't want to give them jobs. Mm. So they say, here, you can be a busser or a server. We're not going to pay you anything, but you'll make your money off tips. Oh, interesting. And eventually that was codified into right. whatever Department of Labor regulation yeah. that says that if you work, I think it's 35 hours minimum mm -hmm. per week as a server, then legally they're, they're allowed to pay you the, the, the server, server minimum right, right. Because, mm -hmm. because you're supposed to be making That's why everyone works like part time. Mm -hmm. yep. I see. Interesting. So how's it racist? Well, because it was it was the mostly white uh, restaurant owners and and the mostly black restaurant workers, workers that right. that, mm -hmm. that didn't have jobs before, and it was just such an influx of labor they didn't yeah, they didn't know they what didn't else to do what with them. Do. I see. Damn, son. Learn something today. <laughs> Til. That's fucking crazy. Tipping is racist, but then again, <laughs> I feel like I saw this on um. On Twitter somewhere, but they say everything's racist on Twitter. He <laughs> might not be wrong. Now I gotta look into some of these things that they be claiming, because I think there's something else obscure that I saw the other day. Man, I can't remember what it was. <sighs> I can't remember what it was, but it was another thing that's <laughs> probably racist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Born of racist ideals. I spend way too much time on Twitter, man. Yeah, me too. Fun place, terrible place though. It's like half my job is just sitting on Twitter. Yeah, that and Reddit. Oh, true, 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 true. I'm a tax accountant. What do I do? Yeah, facts. <laughs> yeah. Red is the Wild West. And do you know why gas prices are so high? Gas prices are so high for a multitude of reasons. Hit me. Did Biden do it? Yeah. <laughs> well, Biden's who's, and who's this Brandon I keep hearing about? Brandon. Well, the Brandon administration has been strategically releasing <laughs> oil from, from the National Reserve to try and tamp down the price. I see. They've... They've advocated for state governments to cut their gas taxes to 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 stem the price. Right, it's not working. Of course, it's not going to work. Uh, do you want the academic explanation, or yeah. do you want? Sorry, uh, or 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 do you want my selfish sort of explanation? Give me both. Okay, so I just read a book called "The World for Sale." Interesting. Not not surprising, but yes. <laughs> and it's about commodity traders, mm. and. Yeah, you know, this is not for nothing, but but totally separate. I, I I learned that most of the quote unquote capitalism has lifted the world out of poverty line is really just uh, populist warlords from export rich uh, <laughs> like commodity countries like Venezuela that that have found a buyer for their oil and and thus instituted a ton of social welfare programs that have since gone to shit because right, right. we're at peak oil. Right, right. Uh, but uh, there's there's middlemen broker dealers mm. in in every market that 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 will match up buyers to sellers. And they are convinced that they do a very important service, and they should be paid handsomely for the service. I was just about to say, what kind of what kind of percentage do they get off of that? That's up to them. Interesting. It's 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 all proprietary. Mm -hmm. uh, we're we're not supposed to know this stuff, but you can assume that a fair bit is being taken out, and the price you pay at the pump is not no. yeah. just the sum of the price <clears throat> of the crude oil plus the refinement. Process. Right, right, right. But the price of paying these goddamn middlemen. But more. Like generally, yeah, you know, COVID screwed up a lot of supply. Right. Generally, the economy as it is run in the U.S. is very demand driven. Of course, yeah. we we're we're the most advanced industrial economy in the world. We consume like ridiculously. We are the consumption sponge of the world, as Come I on. like to say. Yeah. The the American consumer is responsible for like twenty five or thirty percent of 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 global consumption. Insane. And and so we're we're the biggest market for that. Right. And. And we're so car centric, so, oh, so, yeah, so we're yeah, incredibly yeah, yeah, yeah. dependent on on oil. Yeah, like above all else, oil. Right. And COVID supply chains really <clears throat> uh, screwed up a lot in uh, 2020. It it like got to the point where you know, normal recession, people are still driving, people right, are right. still doing business travel and stuff like that. Like there was there was none of that. Planes were grounded, cruise ships were canceled, container ships were canceled. So they they. They couldn't pay people to to take the oil. Right, right. So you had container ships full of oil sitting in the middle of the ocean. Crazy. With just nobody there. And they can't move. And oil actually went negative. Did you know that? For 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 the first time ever. Really? Uh oil 
before COVID, I want to say, was at like $50 a barrel. Okay. Mm-hmm. It went down to negative $40 a barrel. What? For like one minute. And, and then, you know, it's like yeah, right, right yeah, down, right, right back, back up. up. Right, right, right. But, That's but, crazy. But the like present value of like the future cash flows of oil was, yeah. was zero. Jeez. And, you know, necessarily your like Exxons and your Chevrons or whatever, they lost a lot of money. For sure. And they're trying to make back up that money. And so they got to bump the price. And so now they're pumping a lot more oil. Right. They, they've scaled that up pretty evenly over the last year. So uh, our, our oil capacity utilization, the economic term, mm-hmm. is like the highest it's been in 10 years. And we're pumping, so we're like pumping, trying pumping. to make up ground. Yeah. Wow. The uh, oil industry is is really trying to make up their profits. Yeah. That really over over the last like ten years, they they were kind of sucking as an industry, but definitely in like twenty twenty, early twenty twenty one, and they're they're on on par. I think like BP by itself, yeah, yeah. is going to make like sixty one billion dollars this year, yeah. and and you you like extrapolate that Exxon Chevron yeah, right, whole right, right. thing has. Uh, it's not good for the consumer. Yeah, and I don't really know when when it's going to stop. Probably not. For I some time. I think the most important thing for us to do is to try and cut off our own oil dependency, <laughs> which is why I brought See, the bike. I was thinking that I should start biking to work because my you, well, job you is li- like you live ten minutes. Yeah, away. my job ten minutes from my from my um, from my house. Mm-hmm. You know, driving, biking. I would say maybe twenty five, maybe twenty five. I probably wake up a little bit earlier. Grab the bike and go there. I don't have to go fast, so I don't think there's like a factor of like sweating or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Even if I did, you know, bring an extra shirt, you know, what I'm saying contingency plans. So I was actually thinking about that because isn't gas projected to even go higher? Because in some places it's like six dollars. California, it's seven something. Jeez. Yeah. Well, California's got got really high gas taxes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And excise taxes and and a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. like Texas, for example, has no <clears throat> income tax. It has very high property taxes right, to compensate. Right, right. It's got right. pretty high gas taxes to prom- to, right. to compensate. compensate. I see. So so like your gas in like North Dakota is probably around four fifteen right now. Right, right, right. But your gas in California, like you said, is like seven, seven fifty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what uh Anthony said. Really? Mm-hmm. Jeez. Seven dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. I remember when it was two. <laughs> I remember when it was two ninety nine. Dude, I remember during Hurricane Katrina when when it went up to four and people were screaming Squ- crazy. Because I I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm, what I remember from that. I was watching um a show Mind of Mencia. Oh, that used to be on. Uh, that's a throwback. TV. Yeah, I was watching Mind of Mencia and he was going on a rant about how gas is like four dollars. He's like, oh, this is happening. Yada yada yada. Hurricane this. And gas is almost four fucking dollars. And everyone was like clapping, like, yeah, yeah. Now look, we appreciate this so much more now. <laughs> that mm-hmm. gas is four dollars. Would love for gas to be four dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Nine Cali was fucking seven. That's crazy, dude. No, mm-hmm. It's rough. Especially. Oh. It's- so I, what's the price of, of a barrel of oil now? Uh let me find that out for you. Yeah. We have the internet. Yeah. Because uh Biden was already saying like oil prices have gone up or it's fluctuating. They can't change anything. They have to just buy it at market price. Yada yada yada. True. So we have two broad metrics of oil. The uh, West Texas Intermediate is the American price, and then the Brent crude is the world price. Damn, we're at we're at one hundred eleven dollars a barrel right now. Fuck me. Wow. For uh, nice. West Texas Intermediate, uh, year to date. We're up from about 70 to 110. So like 50% probably. Wow. And <laughs> since. I started like trying to rake it back from us. Man. And since 2020, since January of 2020, we're up from 60 to 110. So, so about 100%. Dang. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get that bike. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start walking to work. Yeah, honestly, I was like. Like man, it's, I need, it's killing me. I might, I might need to buy. You hear me? And wage is not going up either. Yeah, wage is not going up. Everyone else making more money. Unless I mean, unless you into some shit where you make more money. But yeah, I need to. I always said this year I wanted to make more money, and I was for a while. But now things kind of cut off, slow down a bit. Man. Mm-hmm. So I need to find a way to make more money again. It's a catch twenty two. Doesn't Tell have, about to, it. You, have uh, to be legal. Make more money. That's they true. just they just screw. It doesn't you on have the to be end. legal, even though it is going to be legal. Fred. Hey, now, I have no idea what we're talking about. My FBI agent, (laughs) you could take the day. Just relax. 
just like Anthony's <laughs> FBI agent. Jim. I will say though Jim, that yeah. that that this is what a health a, a healthy economy is supposed to do though. Interesting. You, you have high prices and that is supposed to make consumers make different choices right, right, to bring right. the prices down. Right, mm. right, 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 okay. right, right. So like you you could have like like a government step in and and decide it wants to control the oil price a certain way, mm. or you could just have consumers say, "I want to buy an e-bike." Right, right, right. With that that you know, I uh, charge up right. every night, and and it gets twenty five miles per hour, right. forty five miles. Right, right. I can bike to work, bike to the grocery store. Yeah, it's cool. And then eventually, if enough people do that, but okay, we could lower the price a couple of cents, <clears throat> something like that. Well, yeah. this is the 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 uh, American economy. Is, is is demand it's all demand right 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 we've 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 moved past trying to trying to cultivate supply and now mm-hmm. we're trying to cultivate demand. demand right advertising that's all it is it's yeah. just trying to get people to buy products right right and I hate advertising. The, the the real crux really of of why we're dipping into covid recession number two right now and why covid recession number one was so bad even though it was really short was because we had supply that failed to meet demand. Demand mm-hmm. is always high. Mm-hmm. And especially with like not being able to go on cruises and stuff for a whole year. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, wants yeah. to go Everyone on cruise. Wants to go on vacation, right. So so demand is really high and supply is still nowhere near there. Right. So you get the inflation. Mm. That's really where it comes from. I see, I see, I see. So we're in an inf- inflation right now. Yes. Yes? Yes. I believe, and I'm gonna make this call publicly <laughs> because uh May's inflation data will come out next week, first week of June. Okay. And I will predict that inflation will have peaked this past month. Interesting. Oh. 8.3% we're at. In May. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it would have peaked sooner than that had yeah. Russia not invaded Ukraine and right. caused the whole food and energy crisis. Right, 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 right. So now, so you're predicting it's going down then? Yes. Okay. Okay. The, the CBO came out with a report today, actually, that said that it's going to moderate starting this month. Uh, it's going to go back down to 2% probably within the next two years. It's going mm. it's, it's to take a while, get the kinks out of the system. Right. The Federal Reserve is also raising interest rates. So that's going to cut down on spending right. on like houses and cars and big like appliances yeah. and stuff. Because I was trying to get a car too. That, that went down the drain. I was fast. trying to get a house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Real fast. Yeah. So Ian says it's going to go down. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Man, I hope. That's about... That's about <laughs> The, the, that's about the sounds you would hear. I want to be invited back. You better go down. <laughs> the prices are going down. You hear first. <laughs> sell, 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 sell. <laughs> <laughs> Do you dabble in the um, in the market? Uh, the stock-, stock market. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, sir. I I've I've been in since uh, December 2015. Oh sheesh. Oh, you're in there like swimwear. See, I I, I wasn't that knowledgeable, so I, I only got in like two years ago. Okay. Yeah, I'm not knowledgeable. I don't, I'm still not knowledgeable. I just kind of do what feels right. Oh, I'm, Boy, not, did I'm, you, yeah. I'm not knowledgeable either. Yeah. This is just a uh, random side note. Did y'all see fucking Netflix's stock? That shit yeah. plummeted. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Actually, it went back to what it was like in, what, 2017? It's crazy. Yeah. It, it, w- it was like almost scratching 700 or something. Really? Dang is dead. And then it plummeted right down. down to like 167. Yeah, that's what they get for raising the fucking prices. 187. Oh my God. I could buy Netflix. It's at 187. What was it before? Uh, The high in November of 2021, six, 690. Yeah. Jeez. I told you it was scratching 700. I could buy Netflix right now. This, <laughs> this, this is. I might. <laughs> hold on. This is tech blowing up. Yeah, yeah. It's all it is. It's it's people need a reason to look for value, and I'm using quotes here because there's no such thing as value. Value is all subjective. Mm-hmm. But that's a fact. Value meaning you're not just putting your money in this really high multiple pre-revenue, don't make any money tech stock. Right. Like Netflix does make money, but it churns out a ton of content. Sure too, does. Too much for it to pay for. Way it. too much. Because it's trying to compete with everything else now. Yep. So and it's not. Yeah, something's got to give. It's not competing, to be honest with you. It, it really isn't. No, because I mean, the only thing I just watched on Netflix was Love, Death, and Robots because season three came out. That shit's fire. But that's about it. I don't go back to Netflix watching. Oh, and Formula One, Drive to Survive. <laughs> you should go back and uh, mm-hmm. watch Arcane. Probably later. <laughs> when Netflix go back up. I'm for, buying Netflix when it go back up. I watch Arcane. For, <laughs> for me, it was it was House of Cards. Nice, like back in the day. Oh, that's gone. And then 
uh, pandemic rolled around, Tiger King. Oh, sure. The whole yeah, family love. Everything loved. Blew, up, blew up. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. really not much of a Netflix guy. Same. After that. Because I'm, I'm on Paramount Plus now. Mm-hmm. I'm watching Jeez. the Halo show in Paramount oh. Plus. Oh, what's your... Oh, side, oh. Side, 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 side tangent. So, side tangent number two. <laughs> you don't want to hear anything, my thoughts about the Halo the first show. Episode. Oh, you haven't watched it yet? I haven't watched the whole thing yet, no. Okay. Good were for you, you. Were you ever like deep in, no. deep into... Okay, no. so your experience is going to be completely different, yeah. different from but mine. Not, that's not to say I didn't play Halo, not like Halo. Yeah, but, but I was... I wasn't like lore I was, focused. No, mm-hmm. I was in there. Yeah, like, dude. I was. Yeah. I read the books. Yeah. Yep. I read the comics. I, I oh, crazy. did the research on everything. Yeah, you, no. you, you and me both, man. Yeah. I, I played the first Halo game when I was eight years old. Jeez. I, I've grown up with Halo. Yeah. I loved it. I went to midnight premieres. Yep. I read all the books. Yep. Uh, they they bastardized Halo 5. <laughs> and now they bastardized the show. That's all I'll say. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. My friend uh, Christian also is like you guys knee deep in Halo. And he did not like this show. <clears throat> I've, that's the general consensus I've seen. Like people who are like like extreme Vorthos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did not like it. Interesting, because the thing is, I'm I'm all about the sci-fi aspect. To be honest, mm. that's what like that's one of my favorite genres Whereas to you, watch. You would pro- you'll you'll probably enjoy it for all intents and purposes. I'm the casual. I think yeah. that as a sci-fi show, it probably does really well. Yeah. yeah, but it is best to think about the Halo show as a completely separate universe than the, the Halo, Halo completely. Games. Yeah, interesting. They, they they took the essentially the skeleton mm-hmm. of the universe, mm-hmm. and that's it. Yeah. Uh, the uh, character plot and setting. I see. Yeah, and completely different plot, plot or story characterization. Or right, 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 right. Just think of it as a complete reboot. Okay. All right, that's fine. I'll do that because I mean I like the first episode. You will that's probably cool. really enjoy it. Yes. Yeah. You, your your strings of attachment aren't yeah. that many. Yeah. Or that strong. Yeah. My, but, love, my love's not like that. But the games are great. You should play the games. No, I I, I played <laughs> the games. I haven't played the new one. Though. I haven't played um. The one that came out. Five okay. was a mess. Yeah, five yeah, was, was a mess. We we don't talk about five. <laughs> Infinite though, the uh, new one. The new one, yeah. Really felt very like, fun. Yeah, felt honestly to me like like the sequel to Halo Three that Halo mm. Four was supposed to be. Halo Four was okay. I didn't mind Halo Four. I liked Halo Four. Yeah, brought in a lot of new points. It was like, it was like Star Wars Episode Seven for me. Yeah. Okay. Those are, those are exact, that's exactly what they are. It's the beginning of a new trilogy. A lot of stuff is different, but I'm willing to roll with it. I yeah. want to see what they do. And then Halo 5 is like episode eight. They took everything that happened in the previous game. Yeah. They threw it out. Yeah. They did something totally different. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these space operas sure are similar. <laughs> Spartans. All right. Um, would you guys consider moving to another country right now? Another country? Yeah, another country. Hold on, the country depends which country. If I thought about like, ask what country, if like job, if like work and blah blah blah, don't if you could work remote, technically, you don't doesn't apply. matter. Yeah, technically, doesn't apply. Would you move to another country right now? I well, he, well, here's the question What is pushing you out? Yeah, that's a good question. Is it is it inflation? Because Maybe. because inflation is worse almost everywhere else. Maybe it's the school shootings. <laughs> that is a pretty good reason. Yes, yeah. that's, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe I don't want my kids to grow up here. You know? It's just school. Shooting. Maybe I want Maybe something I just... a little bit more safer. Maybe I want a more competent government. Oh uh, well. Huh? Well, I have nothing bad to say about that. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe don't any know. of those reasons could be a reason yeah. to be like, all right, I'm done with this country. Where would you go? There's a lot of bad governments. The easy there. choice is, oh, I'll just go up north of Canada. But I mean, that that's a different animal on its own. Mm-hmm. I don't know the uh, Canadian economy like that. But if I were to pick like a any, like a country that's not like right next to us, I'd probably go, I don't know, like Switzerland or something. Any forays yeah. into yeah. Canadian economy? The Canadian economy is is kind of similar to ours. Mm. It's very energy driven, very export driven, kind of like Germany's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not exactly the same. Uh, I mean, they're they're like America light. Right, right, right. But <laughs> America light. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <clears throat> you know, uh, per per capita income is is a bit lower. Yeah, they have their very rich pockets. Just like we do, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, that's that's th- them in the UK and the Nordics are probably the uh, best places that 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 I would want. Kind of, but they're kind of like similar in a mm-hmm. way. UK, I don't know either. UK is a little sus because I watch a lot of UK. Um, well, I watch a lot of Premier League football, so that's uh-huh. like, you know UK football, and I learn a lot about the news. Like I follow like a lot of UK people, users on Twitter. UK's got a lot of the same problems shows. we do. Yeah, yeah. A lot of things that happen in the UK, are, but I mean, the schools aren't getting shot up, UK, so that's a little different. A little fun fact for you. UK has the most record for the most destroyed 5G towers. Interesting. Hmm. Why? 
People don't like the cancer they're getting. <laughs> they don't like the COVID <laughs> from the 5G. <laughs> I flew into Las Vegas, dude, in uh, 2019. Yeah. And I get off the plane and I'm going to get my bag. And the, and the person next to me getting their bag tells me straight up, like, instead of saying hi, yeah, yeah. you should stay away from 5G towers. I got cancer from a 5G tower. Interesting. And I said, can you show me the cancer? <laughs> <laughs> and she walks away. And I'm like, well, I guess oh, okay, not. I guess not. <laughs> yeah, it's her brain. Did they pay her for propaganda? <laughs> that, that, that must just be how they do it out west. Yeah, yeah. whisper in the ear. Cancer, 5G. Where were you, uh, when, when were you in Vegas in 2019? I went to Vegas in November 2019. Okay, November. I met a uh, uh, buddy. Uh, used to play, or I still play, uh, RuneScape mm. online. And met this kid who lives in South Dakota. And he was a finance kid. And I was an accounting kid in school. So we nice. hit it off. Nice. And six years, we were online friends, and I invited him to a couple of Facebook groups I was in. And one of the guys who was leading one of the Facebook groups said, I'm going to a friend's wedding in Las Vegas. Anybody want to come? So I shoot him a message. Hey, man, you want to go to Vegas? Yeah, sure. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm going to go to Vegas. Very so, cool. So he drove from South Dakota because he's, he's a moron. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and I flew. Right. And he picked me up, and we went to In-N-Out, and the rest is, uh, oh, I spent so much money, dude. Oh, of course, you're in Vegas, as you should. Mm -hmm. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was also in Vegas in, no, it wasn't 2019. Sorry. It was January of 2020, mm -hmm. right before COVID uh, popped off. Ass, yeah. Popped off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's probably was like a, two months before. COVID was already there, but they just didn't let everybody know yet. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, that's, that, that's what had me fucked up. Because I was there for a, uh, a tech expo. Yeah. A tech expo. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you will. <laughs> and i was i remember i'm i'm convinced there's people there that had covid, COVID? oh, oh yeah, i'm sure probably. yeah yeah for sure. i i like to joke that covid hit america the way people usually fall in love yeah first slowly then all at once <laughs> <laughs> damn it. I, all right I, i'll think about that later yeah, myself, I, yeah i was uh working at a firm in uh early 2020 and late february early march we get the call mm. everybody's going full-time remote mm -hmm. they like buy our computer screens and stuff make mm -hmm. sure we're all set mm -hmm. my my family gets the idea to move back in together just just like old times yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and we watch tiger king and we do the whole thing yeah and we're we're, we're three months full-time remote and uh we get the call mid-june to go back into the office and they, like, nah. they uh, lay people off at, while we go uh, work from home right and then they lay people off while we go into the office right and i'm in the second group oh so uh the the professional class i will tell you had no problem yeah <laughs> yeah it's it, it's, mm. it's pretty like it really opens your eyes if if you're like in that class and you like don't realize how much better you have it mm. Mm. and I'm, I'm i'm not really just saying that because i was laid off like yeah. we were essential workers right right, right and right. and and i'm using air quotes because because i'm a tax accountant yeah like, yeah, yeah like i don't I mean, run a grocery store i'm right, not right. in a hospital <laughs> right right i i i do something that that doesn't need to be done right right the government <laughs> could do this yeah. yeah yeah the government does it already yeah they just don't tell they you don't tell you right you you could call the irs and say i want a wage and income transcript yeah you for, can do it for for this person's social security number and they'll give it to you mm, interesting it's all so technically I don't really have to do my taxes. They have my taxes. I don't know why I have to do taxes. It doesn't <laughs> make sense. <laughs> well, you should still do your taxes, but there are ways I to do. do it for free that of course they don't tell you about. No, I always do my taxes for free. I have yet to pay for well, I paid for it maybe twice. And I'm like, no, nah, I can do this. And I just do it for myself. What do you use? TurboTax or something? Yeah. Quick. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes well, TurboTax, I think they had a lawsuit too against them where mm -hmm. they were trying to push people, even though they say it's free. Yeah. They always try to route people to the paid version and they had a whole lawsuit against that and then have to pay out some money for that. Yep. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. They, they paid out hundreds of millions. Yeah. They had to pay out some money for that, for false advertising. So yeah, it's great. They never advertised that to me. So <laughs> I never paid any of the total tax. Well, that's good. Yeah. Never that. Shell told me that I fucked up though. Cause I could have got more money um, for my uh, tax return. Cause I, I didn't claim any of my equipment that I was doing for work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I didn't, I didn't even think of that. <clears throat> that fucking mm -hmm. camera cost me $2,000. Mm -hmm. I should we'll, have put that in there. We'll claim it this year, dude. Hell yeah. There you go. I'm still using it for work. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm still using it for work. Uh, what were we talking about countries? Uh, I wait, say Switzerland. Would you move? I fuck with Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. I fuck with the Swiss. If it wasn't so cold, I'd probably say Norway. I mean, I'm a, I'm a tropical man, so... Actually, Denmark. Would you say you're Denmark's a, good? I like Denmark. The Danish. I like the story of Denmark. Mm. Would you say you're an island boy? I'm, 
Oh, no. I'm an island boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I move. Why don't you go back home? Hell no. No? Oh, it's bad over there? Hell no. Oh, okay. It's just bad over there. <laughs> Have you seen a recent election? No, I haven't. I've only heard about the Thai <clears throat> election, which is hor- horrendous in boy, itself. Boy, what uh, country are you from? Philippines. Okay. Have you heard about our recent election? Oh, it is the Philippines. Marcos Jr., right? Yeah, Marcos yeah. Jr. He's trying to get in there. The family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The family. How's, that, it, how's anyone even voting for him? They're rewriting history. That's crazy. They're literally like changing the textbooks. Son, they funnel billions from the Philippines. The whole family. They, Guinness, that family has the Guinness record for the largest, like, theft yeah. from a government. From a government ever. Damn. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. I could never imagine that. And the U.S. The protected him. Billions. That's what's bullshit. Billions, David yeah. Bezel. That's crazy. Yeah. Billions. And I just may want to run for president. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Bill- he can't Ima- win. B- imagine billions from from a third world nation like that. Yeah, it's crazy. You the know people what the, are suffering. You know the difference between a million dollars and a billion dollars? <laughs> it's fucking B. <laughs> About a billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the B. Crazy. It's a lot of money. Where'd you go, Victor? I don't, well... I don't know, to yeah. be honest. I'm not I'm not too I haven't really looked into other countries and Well, I don't know. Honestly, I would probably just try to move to Japan. Interesting. Just okay. just so I can just be near my father again. Mm-mm. <coughs> true, true, true. So my man, this is Japan. My little cousin really wants to go to Japan. Yeah. He doesn't tell me why. Well, my sister's going to Korea. She's on she's on route to Korea Fucking right anime, now. Anime, brainwashing her children. That's true, yeah. Yeah, it's a cool I don't know one. if you guys have been to Japan. It's very nice. No, never been. Very nice experience. I'd okay. really like to go. Cause my, very nice experience. My younger sister is in Paris right now. My other one's in Hawaii. She's hopping on a plane to go to uh, Korea. Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll say... Uh, the good Korea? The good Korea. Okay. Yeah, the good Korea. <laughs> uh, South Korea. What's going on in South Korea? I don't know if South Korea is in any better shape right now either. Oh, really? I don't know anything about South Korean economy. I just watch the, the dramas. <laughs> well, they've got uh, more structural problems, I think, than we have. Yeah. yeah. Like the uh, birth rates there in, in like Japan and Isn't South Korea are, are just horrendous. terrible. Yeah. They should be trying to repeal Roe v. Wade. I, th- I, I, was, <laughs> I, I remember hearing a statistic like that. It was like six to one. Men to women? No. Like old seniors, oh, seniors to, to working oh, age yeah. people. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's pretty bad. It's bad. Wow. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, they don't have time. Like Japan's got something like two hundred fifty percent debt to GDP ratio. Yeah, and it's only getting worse. Dang, because they've they've created all these social programs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you need like a healthy, growing working base to 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 pay into these payroll taxes to fund the programs. Fund the programs, yeah. I see. And you know their 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 obligations. Like you have to spend the money, so yeah, the yeah, government's yeah. got to borrow the money. And they're lucky that they export so much anime. <laughs> <laughs> it pays for everything. <laughs> Sounds like a joke, but it's serious. I'm dude. with you. Like exports. I'm with you. Exports is the way. Technology, entertainment. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. with you. Um, I heard rents high as shit. Oh my god, yeah. How do we bring rent down? Is that like a is that telling? like a personal thing for landlords to decide to bring the rent down, or <clears throat> what kind of market? Like, what? No, that's I don't a personal thing to decide to bring rent up. Oh, mm-hmm. mm, interesting. Because then, does do but do the the thing about rent is that the landlord is also paying the mortgage on whatever the place is. Mm-hmm. Now, depending on how that changes, may depend on how they adjust rent. But I don't think would going into like like the way we are now would that bring like someone's mortgage up or the bills up. I don't know if that would change that drastically that you need to raise rent like two hundred dollars. Well, you know, more like they're doing mortgages shouldn't change. Right. Uh, if you if you have like a thirty year fixed mortgage, right. that payment's going to stay the same for thirty years as you should. It's 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 everything else that that like goes up taxes, your, your uh, property taxes, right. your your property insurance in Florida, right? Property insurance goes up like 30 percent a year, yeah, just on its own, yeah. Um, yeah, like utilities, all this stuff, right? Uh. So they feel the need yeah. to raise rents 40% in one year. It's crazy. Which is fucking Nuts. bonkers. Nuts. And don't they say you're supposed to have like three times the rent or some shit like that? 
Oh, like double the rent? You're supposed to be making double the rent? I don't know what some stupid <laughs> shit is that. Rule of thumb, you're uh, supposed to be making three times your rent, yeah. If I'm making three times my rent, I wouldn't be fucking paying rent. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. What kind of dumb shit is that? I don't think it's a bubble, though. You don't think so? I don't think prices are going to go down. Interesting. Nope. I think that homes are the new offices. Oh, facts. And that Super is facts. reason enough. Mm. And it's Because I've been looking at housing prices, and they are horrendous dude my house i i bought my 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 dad and i bought it mm-hmm. in uh 2016 it's like right next to the university mm. and you know i went to grad school my brother went to med school there so so we lived together and then we had roommates and i would pay half the mortgage to my dad as rent right right and during covid since my brother went to his medical residency program it's just me living there alone mm-hmm. i took it and i pay everything now right, right, right so so i bought the house right but we bought it for like 280 Oh, it's high. And it, it's... You gotta be at like almost 400. On Zillow, 530. Jeez. Six years. What? This is like very easy to look at that and say, this is not sustainable. No, no, no. And I don't think it is. But is it going to stop? No, nah, probably not. Probably not. We're not making new land. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, crazy. and like new housing starts, like, like, like new home construction, yeah. all time low. Uh... A lot of millennials now are finally yeah. at the point where they have some money that they want to buy a house. So, right. So, because I mean, I've been looking at cribs. I'm trying to get a crib maybe in the next two, three years. Mm-hmm. But if it's, I mean, yeah, well, hopefully. Well, now yeah. I'm thinking like if these continue, maybe a condo would probably be a better choice. It's going to be just me. I live in a townhouse. See? It's not even a house. See? It might, it's going to be just me. So I might as well get a house or a townhouse. Not a house, but a condo or a townhouse. I just hate it. HOAs. Yes. Oh yeah. Who are you telling? I could, I, <laughs> I could say all day about my HOA. Yeah. They've yeah. been causing me a ton of shit. See, like recently, pain. Yeah, pain. The pain. reason I moved from my last neighborhood was because of the hey, HOA. Toy? Mm-hmm. Don't you have one in this neighborhood? Yeah, but they're not as. Not as yeah. Okay. Because this neighborhood has an HOA, but you know, Shell's the president. So, <laughs> she can do whatever she wants. That works. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna run for a seat on my HOA board just to do it. just to fuck just it to over. fuck with him. Yeah. <laughs> It's 270. Who, who likes that shit? I'll tell you who likes it. It's people that are too poor for a country club, too rich for an apartment. I see. Don't have anything better to, <laughs> to do. do. They come down here from New York and New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From their, the north. Their kids don't visit them because they're too old. Yep. They're miserable. Very miserable. So they're going <laughs> to try to shell it out to everybody else. Yeah. Misery lost company. I've earned my struggle. Right. Now you get my struggle. Right. It's terrible. Yeah, horrible. Yeah, I was looking at the housing market. It's not that great. Unfortunate for everybody who has to pay rent, especially in places like I don't know New York or something like that. I have to get a house. A one bedroom is like five thousand a yeah. month. <laughs> I have to find a house in like the next five months. So oh, get out of town, really? Fucked. What's in up those, with the crib? In those like established higher cost of living areas, like like New York, L.A., Chicago, yeah, yeah. they will pay you more because because the costs are cost so, high. so high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in like Miami area, yeah, Miami area is like Silicon Valley forty years ago, mm. but Silicon Valley prices of today. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like a total imbalance. Here's the thing: I would rather like work remotely, like be based out of New York, get, get, getting paid like New York money, and then work in fucking Florida. You know what I mean? Ain't That's that ideal. Dream. That would be ideal for me, because I hate New York. I hate. <laughs> I don't want to go back there. Only if I'm going with Victor to go eat. Mm-hmm. That's about it. But yeah, no thanks. Uh oh, shit. We had an hour. <coughs> Economy's a lot. It's a lot. To talk yeah, about. dude. Uh, we've we've just gotten into it. I'll tell you what. How would you buy an electric car right now? Would I buy an electric car right now? Yeah, I'm gonna say no because I, I just agree. bought an electric bike. I agree. And <laughs> and I think that electric bikes are the way of the future, much more so than electric cars. cars? Mm. However, if I were to buy an electric car, I wouldn't buy a Tesla. I'd probably buy Agreed. a Ford. Or the for- listen, a Ford or a Toyota. Listen. So the Ford Lightning is probably one of the most efficient trucks I've ever seen. That and also the uh, what's the smaller version of it? <sighs> Maverick. Bronco? Maverick. The Maverick, Maverick is sick. Mm-hmm. The Maverick is perfect for an average dude like me who don't need a truck like that. Mm-hmm. But that's great. That in the Rivian. Rivian is probably one of the most innovative trucks I've ever seen. If I could afford one, I would probably get one. Mm. Car but prices aren't. They're not great either. right now. Yeah. yeah. Especially not electric car prices. And I think because the foundation of the electric car isn't really built up to where it needs to be, mm-hmm. I wouldn't purchase one. Because, one, I can't go on a road trip and charge my car like that. Yeah. I'd have to go somewhere askew to get, you know, to charge 
wherever the station is closest, you know, because until I'm at the point where like I go to the gas station and they have the charging station at the gas station. Mm -hmm. I don't think I mean, I'm into electric cars like that yet. Yeah, it's always five years away. Yep. Always. Every year it's five years old. <laughs> <laughs> also, charging the electric car is going to fuck up your electric so, car. Will it, though? I wonder. It's a lot of power. I, I have noticed that my electric bill has gone up a bit mm. with the bike. It's a lot of power. But I'm also not spending 100 bucks a month on gas. Correct. It, see, but it balances out. True. Mm. But um, I, my coworker's got it right, dude. He's, yeah. he's got it figured out. But he's got his house mm. from like years ago. Because he's a little older, mm-hmm. but um, he's thinking of getting an electric vehicle because of the gas prices. Mm-hmm. But he recently installed solars on his house, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. charges the car, so he has that uh, extra influx of power that can offset the charging the car. Charge. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, that's such a good spot to be in. Uh, too. Solar's that's a beast, the way to another do it. beast in itself, though. <laughs> Yeah, because my coworker installed solar, but he those are he, but he's paying <clears throat> his solar cost him forty thousand. Yeah, so mm-hmm. over he's paying that off of a few years, and he saves some money on electricity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's but not, it's sol- not like a significant amount. I think in the grand scheme of things, it'll be a good amount. I but, don't know. where 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 is he getting the so- where is your friend here? No, he's in West Palm. Yeah, he's in West Palm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because I was looking at the statistics off of my coworker's um, solar. It probably depends on what, yeah, whatever. I don't, I've, I've not done any research. Depends on the company, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he is generating like 50 to 60 percent of his consumption. Interesting. So that is a significant amount wow. of kickback. That, well, mm-hmm. unfortunately, the yeah. FPL is, yeah, they're a trying monop- to take that away. Boy. The FPL is yeah. a monopoly. Sure is. They, will, they won't pay you for they that, won't pay but you they'll for give it. you a kickback. Yeah, yeah. Well, what they do, what they do is he he explained they explained it to me like the extra power you put back in the grid you can sell back to them you can sell back the not sell back but yeah. they'll keep it in like a piggy bank for right, you. right right for right. so for when you do need it yeah, you're yeah. like all right here all right, you go yeah. here's your credit yeah yeah, yeah 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 so yeah. I'm like yeah so other places you can sell back I watched the John Oliver special on on uh, power. Yeah. Not too long ago. That's a crazy business fight. That's so, a crazy mm, racket. A crazy bro. business. Especially for FPL down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nuts. Boys, <laughs> boys strong arm everybody, bro. I think that I would like to run my own solar farm. That'd be fire. That'd be weird. That'd be super worth yeah, yellow gold. <laughs> yeah. Yellow gold, yeah. I, or that. yellow <clears throat> oil, I guess. The new oil. The new <laughs> the new oil is sunlight. Shit Which doesn't die, right? Unless you fucking kill it, because we're killing this, this, this earth. Hopefully, you don't kill this podcast, because uh, this comes out on Friday. Thank you to Ian the Economist for bringing the economy. Pleasure, dude. Blessing. Good to have you back. For sure. Don't worry. We'll be back again. Yeah. Oh, Ed lied to me. He said this charger would work for this laptop, and it doesn't. Either that, or I forgot to plug it in. It looks like it's plugged. Ooh. It was the ladder. I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> Luckily, we're done. So, uh, thank you guys for listening. This will be out on Friday. The YouTube. Well, since I did the one shot, the YouTube will probably be out on uh, Saturday. Might be out on Saturday, actually. Saturday or Sunday. I say Sunday because Saturday I'm with my lady. Hey. It'll be out on Sunday. So, you get it a little bit ahead of time. Sometimes it's Monday because I have two shots and I got to cut the effect. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But yeah. So, hopefully, Trey is back. If not, you know, we, we kick them out. <laughs> he's off being there hopefully you like this episode it was a very informational episode which I knew it was going to be so if you fell asleep that means you don't care about the economy you hate us What's if you fell you? asleep that means you got it like that yeah G shit <laughs> you got the bread <laughs> I don't means you understood me perfectly <laughs> hopefully you like this episode guys make sure to like subscribe all that jazz uh, go to a lot about pod.com for the episodes everything's there follow us on your socials at a lot about pod I'll let you ask. Ian, do you have any socials? Uh, I am The Lentils Economy on Twitter. I like it. Because nobody said this would be easy. Yeah, I like <laughs> it. That's fire, actually. And, Anthony's one of slurs. And follow my blog. I'm not really active, but millennialeconomist.com. Done yep. and done. There's a lot about nothing. Thank you for listening. Peace. Challenge.